Looks like there's a few screws here in the back that have to come off to pull these side panels off. Which will make it real easy to get into. For sure. A couple more down here. And I think these side panels are going to just screw right off once I got them out. Oh yeah, look at there. There's one. And the fan in this thing's already been turned off or unplugged. Don't know if it works or not, but for right now I'm just going to set that aside. Set that aside. And then I just want to take a look on the inside here and see what we got. Or matter of fact, go ahead and remove this other panel over here because that's just going to be, that's going to be all shred metal. That's all going to be shred metal. So, from what I'm looking at, basically everything that I have to get to besides unplugging just a few things back here in the back or everything I should say here in the back look at all the hard drives one two three four five five hard drives in this thing so I'm gonna be collecting all of this wire I'm gonna collect all this wire but it looks like to me from what I can see we're just going to go right to the other side. I'm just going to start there. Picking apart this stuff here. And it looks like the first thing I'm going to need is a, a Phillips screwdriver. And maybe, just maybe, I'll put on a pair of gloves for my safety. So, what I got there is, I'm going to start right here at the top, take this board out. Every screw that I take, I'm going to take it out, set it aside. Taking out the motherboard screws. I've got here a little card, some kind of a card with some gold in it. Actually, there's a hard drive just sitting on the inside here not to mention that all the hard drives that are over there so this is a hard drive rich computer okay so I'm hooking all these wires get a hook to this thing it looks like it's got a nice heat sink in here nice little heat sink look at there some copper on the inside of it Don't need all this plastic junk because I'm not going to save any of that like that but I got a nice heat sink with a big old copper piece in the middle which I'm going to push out right here on my um, set that on there and drive that piece of copper out and I'll have me a nice solid piece of copper there and that's really nice so I'm going to set that down there to be prepared later finish unplugging or cutting any thing that's holding on to a wire in this box. See anything that I can unplug. I'll cut it for the most part. A lot of plugs, a lot of plugs. Man, this thing has a lot of, a lot of plugs. It looks like a nice board on there too, to be honest with you. A lot of plugs. Wow. Hard drives, CD drives. Let's cut some of these straps in here. To hold the wires in place. We can remove them. And get them completely out of my way, to be honest with you. I feel like E Waste Ben. Hey, E Waste Ben. I watch a lot of your videos, my friend. Keep up the good work. All these things we'll save. Ben, what do these wires bring? What is that? What do they call these ones? I'm not sure there's got to be a good name for them. Should I save them? How should I save them? I should say. The way right now, I'm going to save them right down there. I'm just looking to get all these wires out of my way. Make sure that everything is unplugged, at least. 
pull everything right out the back as the wires go. Get rid of them in the front side so we don't have to deal with them. This is the power supply wire, which we do have to deal with until we get the screws out of it. Sweet. Man, that thing is one huge power wire. Wow. Wow. All right. Let's continue taking our screws here. power supply out of there. Might right have a couple of screws on this front side, back side here. The other thing that I will do on this power supply is I'm going to go inside that box to that power supply so I could cut them wires off right now I mean I could cut all the wires off of this thing right now that are hanging out of it or I can just wait until I open it up see what we got this way I'm sure that this big old box here has some good stuff in it Other than that, I would normally just take this power supply, set it aside, and scrap it later. I figure it can't hurt just to take a look and see what's inside of this bad boy. Make sure I get all the screws out. Not coming apart unless I do. Right, what do we got here? I'm not even sure how it opens, to be honest with you. I think that hole you know, right there just folds up. There we go. Okay. What is inside? I'm gonna fan one. Glad I got these gloves on. So there's a fan in there. And shred metal. We got a couple good pieces of copper donuts here. One there, one there. Small one, another one there, another one there. A lot of donuts. And then uh, I'm gonna uh, go ahead and see if I can get these screws out of this thing and take them all out of there and see what comes of it. Not the right kind of screwdriver. All right, we'll switch that out. We need one that has a little bit smaller so that we can get into that thing. All right, so I'll do it by hand. Oh. Let's do it by hand. Doesn't look like there's too many screws in there, so maybe four, five, or six. Pop them screws out. I might have to cut these wires. Might just have to go ahead and cut them first before I can get that last screw out. This is all light, I would say, probably light duty wire. I'm not going to get big money for it, except for them copper pieces on the inside. I'm going to bust them. I'll break them on my vise here. And, and uh, then I'm just save the copper. I think I need to get in here. Go ahead and get that stuff right there cut out all through here. These wires disconnected. And there's so many of them down there that they're not being real easy to get a hold of. There we go. Right, let's see what we got here. This should pop out of there, matter of fact. And we'll call this shred metal. 
does have something here that might have some goodies in it. I'm not sure. Is any real goodies in there or not? I know some people might take that apart. There's some copper right there, so I might pop that out of there real quick. Looks like probably with a hammer. Pull that aside. Now I've got to get all these wires cut back so that I can get to what I want on here. I think I'll just do this number here. Yeah. Cut them, cut them, cut them. This is how I would scrap out a power supply box anyways until somebody else um, tells me differently. I'm just going to cut all these wires right off of here until I get through them all. One more. Alright, so that leaves me with all the, which I imagine I'll have to cut these ends off. Cut these all these ends off, throw them right in my scrap wire box. So that's quite a bit of wire. And then obviously I'm going to take a pair of pliers, vice grips maybe, and just start tearing all this goodness off of there, all that copper wire is goodness. And let that go. Copper. Could probably even snip them with a pair of snips. The little donuts there. I like them donuts. Copper. Because that piece of metal that's apparently on the inside, it's just a piece of metal it appears. It snaps right off of there, so that makes getting this copper really easy. And this one here has a nice wind on it. I love taking these ones too. And just break that outside casing off of that. That's all I do. Pop it out of there. Open up them grips a little bit. Fins off of there, see if I can get a hold of it. There we go. Snap that thing right out of there. Nice hunk of copper inside of that now. I want you to know. Save that. See these things here. I'm not sure if they're aluminum or not. Yep. See that's all aluminum. I'm gonna try to get them off too at the same time. Got another little donut there. I'm not exactly sure what that is. There's another little copper motor piece. I guess would be right there. It's got some copper in it. What it takes to get that off of there. I guess the pliers will probably work out a little better. I'm trying to pop it off in there with a screwdriver. Yep. Let's see if we can pull that out of there. I'll probably put that right in the motor weight, in my opinion. I don't know if they'd take it that way at your lot or not. Now really what's left here is a few um, components, computer type components. These little things here. I always take them off and throw them in a separate bucket. There we go. Yeah, it just goes in a separate bucket for me. I have a little e-waste bucket around here and I just drop it in there. But, let's see how easy or what we got here. Very really busy today. Very busy. Let's stop this recording. Alright. Phone's been constant all day, which I'm not complaining. Alright, see what we got here. I would love to be able to get this aluminum off here. I'm going to have to just use a hammer on it. Go crazy. Smash it all up. There we go. So once I do that, i got to get these things off.
in order for it to be a clean piece of aluminum, I guess. Little nuts turning on the back, damn it. A little nut on the back is turning. Oh, all right. Set you aside. See if I can get you off of there. Still got a couple donuts down there I want to get. I mean, sometimes, for me, it's just hammer time. Hit that thing the other way. Just like that. So, you hit it with a hammer a couple times and I'll pop it off there. Set that aside for processing. I'll go ahead and get these couple pieces of copper donuts off of here. This is actually a nice little piece. Really nice little piece. A lot of copper in it. Very well worth saving, for sure. Copper everywhere. Oh, just lost a piece. aluminum right there. I don't know what these are. What are these? Blue things. I save them every time I see them. Somebody said something about tantalum or something, so I save them. I just put them in my e-waste bucket. So I actually have a few of them. Still don't know what they are. I've been saving them anyways. I could probably get a bunch of stuff off of there. Really, these here, I think, I think they're savable. You can always pop them off with a pair of pliers and save them in one of your e-waste baskets, I guess. Not done a lot of these, so I just see people saving them, saying they're worth money. All them things down there are probably worth some money. So I might just knock off some of this garbage here and send it in with my e-waste boards. It's the only thing I can think about doing. So that's that part of it. So already so far, I've taken out all this. I got one hard drive, um, one card. I'm not sure exactly what the... G Force 210, 12, uh, 512 megabytes. It's a card, G Force card. Got some aluminum that I need to have cleaned up. Got some shred metal, a piece of shred. All these wires right there, and then we got some of these little copper donuts and some copper wood plastic on them. We'll process all that up. So that's what I got so far. Still got a lot to do over here. So stick around and I'll take the rest of that apart. See what we got here for precious metal on this. Oh, I gotta get all the screws though. Uh oh. Uh, what did I do with my old screw bit? Right here. Let's see what we got here, guys. I don't think so. I didn't even answer that. Mentioned collect. You know what I say? Leave me a message at the beep. Damn telemarketers are unbelievable. So, anyway, let's continue with my project and not worry about theirs. There are a couple in here that are being difficult.
All right, I just got to find them. And blend them with the old board. give you an idea of where that screw is and then I'm not gonna depopulate look at that sweet board um, I'm not going to depopulate but I will take off heat sinks a little gold piece right here I always want to save these Let's see if I can get a little I always want to save these little gold pieces here there's good money in that obviously good money and little gold here so save that there's some pieces down there that are actually valuable if you want to uh, get rid of this here and then pop them off of the board so I'm just going to go around taking my aluminum stuff off that they probably don't want on this board and some of the screws are so small before I do though I'm going to take this stuff that I think is tantalum or something, I don't know. Set it aside real quick. And I'm going to hit this thing with a hammer because them screws are really tiny. Whoa. Let's see if I can get some action going on. That's just a little fan, actually. Here's where the money probably is right there. Let's see what we got here. Yes, there's the screws right there. Four screws on the back. I could probably, instead of unscrewing them since they are super small, I'm guessing, I do not know, I've done this yet, but these things break right off of there without me having to unscrew them. No one screwing for me. Now what we got? There we go. Some copper. Nice copper right there. copper I'm not sure how to scrap that whether we put it in as dirty copper or if we can actually get that piece of copper out I don't know but I'm gonna drop that down with a piece of what we got off of that board let me see here don't see a whole lot going on this back side I guess like I said I could take that out could actually take that out right there and all them little things down there are worth money but since I'm not a board sorter and I don't really know much about it I think what I'm gonna do is just break a few things off and send it in like that I mean I'm gonna send the board in like that I'll probably take off all these I think they're junk and just added weight for nothing. Let me get a few things off though. Like I believe this is a, some kind of an aluminum. I don't know. And I'm probably taking it off wrong because I've never done it before in my life. So, excuse me. You get better at things as you go is what they say. There we go. I know there's nothing magnetic here. So it's either aluminum or stainless. It's not magnetic. Set that down with the stuff we got. That board. Oh, this is the mirror type. I hear these are worth money. Yeah, these mirror type things here are worth money. Let's see if I can get 
get that one off. Little gold corner things here. Don't think I have the right tool for that. Maybe I do. little mirror in there it's, that makes it worth a little more money I'm gonna set that aside sell it separately there's some gold obviously in uh, this piece here I'm gonna send this in basically like it is the only thing that I'm going to do still is knock these little things off I don't I don't think there's much in them it's worth anything just extra weight I'm shipping out for nothing I think unless one of you guys can tell me different because I am gonna have to send this to board sort in order to get my money out of it and I'm gonna put it in just like that I think unless somebody tells me different please tell me so all my computer boards I've just been holding under there this is just some scrap miscellaneous computer junk, I think. But I'll save it for now. Uh, I got a couple of these tantalum pieces, I think. The little mirror thing. Pretty sure I got a few things of value off of there so far. So far. And now we're going to pull them hard drives out. Six. Six hard drives, one computer. Alright, so that wasn't too bad. That computer to me, as far as I'm concerned, is torn apart. I'm not going to mess with these fans. Might break the fins off and throw it in as um, dirty motors. I, I don't know. Maybe. But I did get six hard drives. All this wire here. All this copper copper and aluminum some aluminum here aluminum a g-force card and uh, some shred one computer torn down look at this boy this thing is full of goodness <coughs> wow full of it no idea there'd be this much stuff in here. So I'm just gonna start looking for my Phillips screw bits. Anything that has a Phillips on them, take it out. My word, I'm surprised what's in this thing. Pretty amazing. You wanna know the truth of it? That's a good board. Look at all them right there. Bunch of small ones. Mm, that is a beautiful board. Set that aside for separating another time. That'll come in handy. What we got here?
shred, shred metal. With a lot of gold fingers right there. Good God, look at all the gold. I'm cutting them fingers off of there. That's gold. Man, a bunch of them too. stuff take off this bad boy. Might take a while. Wow. I'm just amazed at all the goodness on this thing. Amazed at it. Curves, to be honest with you. What? Love you, honey. Love you too, babe. Taking out every single screw I come to. It's a big piece right here, I'm telling you. It's huge. It's going to be a lot of money in this thing once you break it down. That. Like I said, I'm setting everything down here with my computer stuff. Process all them boards later. I'm just wanting to get everything apart. Get it all apart. See what I can get for it later.
all them little tantalum pieces. It's an amazing board. Copper, aluminum, more copper, more aluminum, and all kinds of good stuff. Wow. You all see that? That thing. Ooh. I'll sort this stuff out later, though. I'm just trying to get the big stuff taken apart, sorting later. So much stuff to do. Sort it out later. Man, look at the stuff on these things. Amazing! I'm just so excited. I had no idea, to be honest with you, this thing would have this much stuff in it. Golly! This thing is loaded with aluminum and copper. I mean, absolutely loaded. wire save it all now the board needs to be taken apart depopulate that later right now I just got to get everything torn apart so I can get it in the shred I'm sorry about how dark it is in here but I really need to turn on the light let me just Figure something out here, real quick. If I can at least get one light in here burning. Burning. Let's see if we can get, see if this makes any difference. Just throwing this back here. For goodness sakes. I don't know, but I was told. Shed some light on the situation. I don't know if that helped much or not. Might have helped a little bit. Now I'm just getting it tore apart so I can get all the parts and pieces out of it later. Sorting. Man, I have a ton of it.
just have to just say that I'm going to have to get my lighting right out here or it's just not going to be worth making videos. Strip that goes right there. These are aluminum. Take both of them. These were the legs that held it up. save all of these always 